Bill, it's time to pay the piper. We are at the end of January. We have completed our first full year of ownership on our SR22 G3 Turbo. We have beat it up pretty good, rode it hard, put it up wet. Uh, this was the year we upgraded to R9, and you folks did a magnificent job on an absolutely flawless install. But now it's time for the annual. Let's talk about avionics issues when it comes to annual. I mean, the typical guy looks like an annual is this, you know, once a year, you know, checkbook uh, destroyer, when in fact there's an extraordinary opportunity here for just good, safe flying. Sure, and actually, uh, the newer airplanes, it's still as relevant as the older airplanes. I definitely like to check to make sure antennas all sealed up um, because as over time the sealant degrades around antennas that becomes a big issue when it comes to communication or lack thereof navigation problems or in this case GPS problems the other bigger part of it is as far as uh, turning things on it actually ends up being software revision levels and ADs that are due for that for that level of work now, your responsibility as a technician in this regard in an annual, let's talk about what has to be done versus what may be recommended and how to tell the difference and also to do some proper jurisprudence, if you will, in regards to choosing those things that are recommended and should be done anyway. Well, the difference between things that should be done and the things that have to be done, if there's not an AD due on it or if there's not a, a mandatory service bulletin due by whichever manufacturer of the equipment that I'm working on, it really ends up being up to the pilot, to the, to the owner, and uh, nine times out of ten, uh, when I start, well, you know, I'll point out a few things that, you know, you might want to start looking at this. You know what? I actually had a problem with that. I'm getting some static in my headset that I didn't get before, or are my reception starting to leave me before I was, before I had got clear for another hundred miles or so. So, I mean, it ends up being something that uh, most of the time, they're, they're really happy to find out that there are some things that they could address. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its VTAIL design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com.